Comment if you guys like us to do more random shit like this. Or if you want to see me spar Jake. How many rounds do you think I go? 45 seconds. How long is 45 seconds? Now I'll make it 10 bands if you could last 45 seconds. Deal. It's time to beat this. Is this the beginning? It's time to beat this freaker up. We need to get paid. I, I don't think he's taking this very seriously. Yo, are you gonna wrap up? I don't need none of that. I'm just here to whoop your ass, get my 10,000, and go home. You fresh off a loss. Two losses in 30 days is crazy. Woo woo! Boo! Ding, ding. Round one! Yo, you know what's crazy is I was gonna go like kinda easy on him, like to be nice. The more he talks <laughs> shit, the more I'm gonna. I wasn't even gonna punch him in the face, but yeah. now I'm gonna punch him in the fucking face. <laughs> Owie? You just said owie and I you're said, about to get in the ring with Jim? I said ouch. I said ouch. Owie? No, ouch. I said ouch. I got my plan. So, don't mind my hairline. I'm Puerto Rican. I ain't got my shit cut in about 45 days. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run around for 25 seconds. Maybe 30. As many as I can. Like back facing him run? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> and then the last 10, I'm just boom! Mama! Yeah, run as much as you can. You're gonna be doing a lot of that in the ring. You got that big ass underbite the jab. You gotta tuck your chin. You gotta to tuck him. Boom! <laughs> Make that motherfucker, you gonna bite your nose. Big chin ass. Boom! Boom! Whoopi Goldberg boxes today. You know what? If I win, I sleep in the primary bedroom of the house. Wait, what? I sleep in your room. <laughs> and you sleep in my closet like Dobby. If you nigga. win? Yeah, when I win. And when I win, you have to sleep outside tonight in the backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I win, I'm gonna text your mama. It's <laughs> <laughs> that time. Come on, it ain't nothing to me. Last. What the thing? Uh, fly like a butterfly. Sing like this. What said fly like a butterfly. It's float like a butterfly. Well, they fly, like first of all. They don't float. But that's the same. But they right? don't float. Whether they float or fly. But they don't float. They fly. Do planes float? The business fly. So what the fuck do butterflies? Okay, that's cool. But what I'm saying is you asked me to say some shit that you said, but that's over. But I'm just letting you know. That's man. cool, that's cool. Whatever, just take it how you want to. Oh, you got a problem? No. Who's gonna win, me or Jasper? What? Me and Jasper are about to spar. I think Jasper, I've always seen Jasper, I'm sorry. You know that. He's my favorite. It's fucked up. I'll remember that. YouTube boxer. What's it like training a YouTube boxer? Not a like me. <laughs> Is it like frustrating? Uh, 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 uh. You hear him over there? Uh, 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 He's he stupid as hell. His mind is really off fighting you. Uh, uh, uh. He's really gonna try to fuck me up. <laughs> yeah, come on, baby. You know, none of that's gonna save you, right? It's not gonna do nothing for you. Shit, you gloves on. Let me get them on. Oh, oh wait, I'm getting a call actually. What the hell? What did that say? Muhammad Ali? Yeah, it's a piece of cake. It's honestly, it's, it's free. Free 10,000. Do we have the all white ones? Yeah, so you can show the blood. Yeah, so I can fuck them up. Margarita's on me, man. You know, duty calls. He's not prepared. Yeah. He hasn't been training at all. He had a wet dream, sneezed twice. He sneezed three times today, actually. <laughs> See this form, buddy? Oh, Are you ready? You believe in me. I'm not your coach. I'm gonna knock you the fuck out after I knock him the fuck out. What did you just say? Damn, he just called me you out You threatening your trainers, bro? What the it's fuck? Okay. I have BPD. Mind your fucking business. Who are you? <laughs> Is he having a mental breakdown? You just, bro, he's putting your gloves on. You just told me you're gonna knock him the fuck out? I don't usually wear gloves. I do everything raw. Bro, I think this whole thing is going to your head a little bit. I think you're going to die. What the fuck? By dude? my hand. What the, what are you, what got into you? He's a boxer, man. The devil. This is tight. I'm fat as fuck. You can see my arms hanging out the glove. Holy fuck. Who do you think I am? Fucking Chloe. Gonna be Kendall Jenner? <laughs> just don't let the fat bust out the sides, maybe. Up. I was born warmed up. I've been preparing for this moment for a long time. Where you coming from? Deep. <laughs> hey, put your motherfucking damn face on. You know what time it is. It don't matter what face I got on, I'm gonna punch his off. <laughs> 
little ass kid workout. I took steroids. I, bro, I, I was gonna say, it seems like you're on like Those coke or steroids or something. Like, Both, my hair's falling out. <laughs> are you ready to see my ring? <laughs> yes, I'm ready, but right, coke get behind and me. steroids? Get behind me, get bro, behind me, just get, fight. Just get behind me. Bro. <laughs> um, do, do you have headgear? I need it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro, I got a melon on me. Wait, why does he have headgear? God damn. They can me swallow my spit. You need a bottom one strap, please. Nah, I can't do that. Bro, you what? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to round one BS with Jake Paul. We have an amazing guest on the show today. Stay tuned. But for now, me and Jasper are sparring for $10,000, and he's been talking a lot of shit. Two, three minute oh. round. Let's get it. Let's get oh, it. <laughs> Jay, don't let him give me that 45 seconds. What? What? <laughs> 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 No, no! It's not over till I do that. Get back in. You gotta land at least one punch. I'm gonna whoop your ass. Bro, I, I think I have a hernia from laughing. I think I got a hernia from laughing. Alright, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Ah. In my face! Second, Jack. Ow! Oh. 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 There you go, hit it! That was good. Is that after the belt? <laughs> oh my god. Is that after the belt? Oh my god. I got an ab workout from last year. Oh, <laughs> oh, he got in my nose. Slow down, slow down. Shut up. Get back, get back to what you do with the They're trying to give him advice like he's gonna listen. Come on, use that jab, right? Use that fucking jab. What jab? No, 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 stop running, stop running, wait. Yeah. What you? Please take these off. Take what off? You gotta fight to fight, brother. I'm gonna call you the B word. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> take it off. Please. Hey, bro, don't be mean to her. Shut up, you bitch. <laughs> Freedom. One night. <laughs> you said what? One night. Take these off, please. I won. I wouldn't tell you. What you mean? I wouldn't tell you one. Come out tomorrow? No. Turn that shit off. Now. My bad, champ. My bad. Baldy. <laughs> there was definitely a point in time I was in there for 45 seconds. I hope. I could have knocked your head off. I was being chill. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for taking it easy. Yeah, you, you gonna, it's gonna take you. Somewhere in life, about living this maybe right. around the corner. <laughs> and the winner! Woo! Take ball! Respect, bro. I'm gonna lose that Okay, okay. All right, round two! Like being professional boxers, is it hard to like de-escalate a situation? Like, cause I, I, if I was a pro boxer, I'd just somebody talking now. I'm gonna punch this. It's not like how, how does that work for I'm, you guys? Like, I hate confrontations. I hate fighting. I hate arguing. I, I don't. I never had an outside street fight. Uh, I barely like to get into arguments with my sister, with my mom. Like, how about you, Ashton? Can you answer that? You, you know, seem like a sweet guy who doesn't yeah, like. Yeah, I'm a sweet guy. Top tier de-escalating like skills. I, have your back. I love that. Yeah. Okay. Round two. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to BS with Jake Paul. 
another episode, season two, episode, I don't fucking know, and episode three. three. And uh, we have a bunch of amazing special guests coming on the show today. We are joined by Amanda Serrano. <laughs> Shadeja Green. <laughs> Ashton Silf. And later, I, th I think we have Joe Fournier coming on. Shit, we're about to get into all this madness, all this God crazy damn. stuff. He's fighting KSI. But it's amazing for all of us to be here. We did a photo shoot this, this morning and um, some real superstars. I mean, you just became undisputed. Yes, the first. The first ever undisputed champion from Puerto Rico, Amanda Serrano. It's a lot. And I Whoa. That may have hurt Cruz. Oh, she's not looking good now, is she? Shake Back to the ropes. Serrano sensing the end is near. 45 seconds to go here in the sixth. That's insane. How does that feel? Like, how do you feel? Well, first of all, I want to give a big thank you to you and Akisa for making that dream come true, helping, being a part of the team, and... and just, that was definitely a dream for a while. But it was a great night for female boxing. We put on a show and we showed that we can fight. And no matter what, I, I was put in front of a tough Mexican fighter and I made sure that I became undisputed. I love that. I love that. I know, I think it was a really good fight, like really entertaining. Yes, and that's what I like. I'm a fan favorite fight. I like to entertain the fans. You guys are buying tickets to my fights. You guys are, are watching on, in your television, on your television and or on your phones. And I just want to give you guys something to enjoy. On the undercard, Shadeja stepped up to the plate. <laughs> went crazy. Went, went noop yaki. Crazy. Got that. What was is it? Was it a TKO? Technically? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Got the TKO. We're gonna put some clips up so in case y'all didn't see that. Green. Maybe oh. since he blood the water and under his right hand. I heard in the crowd like so many people cheering for you. Of course. So like, were there nerves going into it? Oh, definitely. I mean, um, it was time for me to step up to the plate. And Amanda had been talking, you know, so grace gracefully about me. So I knew I had big shoes to fill. I, I had to perform. And um, this was a tough opponent, you know, uh, we took in uh, two weeks. So I knew I was ready because I had trained for the task. So when I first went out there and, and I walked out and I heard the crowd, once I got in the ring, the nerves left. I was ready. So, you were ready to go. I, yeah. I know you used to play basketball. What position? Point guard. Uh, the three, sometimes the four. Because you got the sauce. You got the sauce in the ring. Yeah, you think like, so? Like, from the basketball. Like, were you in AAU tournaments and Oh, stuff? absolutely. See, that's I knew it. Yeah, I was All-American nominee. She can, I can just tell by the way you box. Yeah. You, you box like an AAU basketball player. Like, you got, like, all that sauce <laughs> and shit. Flashy yeah. moving. Is, I like that. But nice. I think that's why you're, you're so good is because of that, like, smooth you know, combination of like kind of dancing and, and just having fun in there. Yeah, I try to stay relaxed. You I'm know? not good at that. No? <laughs> I need some advice. Well, that comes with time. Yeah, I watch, I watch a lot of Amanda too, so. How oh, much of a, wow. like a transition into it from like your prior athleticism and basketball do you feel like it is like helping you in boxing in terms of footwork? Just athleticism. Um, it's all about the footwork. Um, relaxing your body, not being so tight. But it's completely different. Ah, it's, it helps, but it's different. In basketball, you ain't getting punched in the face. <laughs> you, know, you ain't getting punched in the body, you know? No flagrance. You get kicked out of the game for that. I mean, somebody's aiming to punch you in the face. So it's different, but it helps one another. Yeah, we just got done sparring. I beat his ass. Oh, so my well, fucking God. He's lying. I love Don't sparring. I just want to bring back up another clip of me punching him in the face. He's, just put it here. <laughs> <laughs> But it's, it's okay, happen. bro. We have some mega fights on the horizon for most valuable promotions. Do you have like a, t what's going on with this Katie Taylor situation? Cause we just want to hear it from you. Like I know, but we, we want to hear it from you. <laughs> well, obviously I had a tough fight. Um, I suffered a cut. 
after the fight, I suffered. Well, during the fight, I also injured my my knuckle. We went back thinking that we would be we were going to be able to go back right back to the training camp. But once I started hitting the bag, my my knuckle just wasn't wasn't right. And, and we're going to Ireland. I need to be 100 yeah. percent for that fight. I'm not going to take no shortcuts. And, and until this day, my cut it still swells up. The other day, just uh, it was full of pus and blood so you know in three months or it wasn't gonna heal I wasn't gonna heal correctly I wasn't gonna be able to train my hardest and my best to to face Katie Taylor so she has her fight and then hopefully we'll see what happens after that yeah I think the rematch is gonna be even bigger and I'm I think so too I'm so excited the craziest thing about it I don't know if you I'm sure you've probably thought of this but when you win You'll be undisputed in two weight classes. Yes, that's, that'll be truly amazing. I love it. Speaking of big young prospects, big fights, Ashton Silva in the building, man. You're 19 years old, 8-0. and 0. What's next for you, man? Like, I, do, you, do you even know what's going on? Because when I was 19 years old and, like, I was living this crazy life, like, I didn't even know what nah, was going on. I honestly don't. Like, but since, since I was young, I never knew. Like, kind of had, like, my dad and my team kind of always handle that for me. And just, like, like you said, like, you're 19, I'm real young. So, like, you know, I still have, like, other stuff to kind of not really worry about. But, you know, at the same time, like, I do. Like, I kind of just graduated now trying to. So you know, crazy. That's crazy. You just graduate high school. <laughs> and I'm trying to go to college, like, you know, optional. Are you so. going to go to college? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to wait a year. Well, I kind of did wait a year. I'm going to try this summer. Does the pressure of being, like, so young weigh on you in terms of, like, performance, or does it, like, excite you? Like, it's not even, like, that I'm young. I feel like more so the pressure is, like, like for me and my family. Like, you right. know, me just think about my family. That's, like, my pressure. And, like, where, like, if I have... He like nerves or anxiety, but other than that, it's like More I feel feeling. like you know I'm just kind of living living the life that I'm supposed to live. And was was your last fight your quickest like whenever, to date? Yeah, I, I think so. Bro, uh, yeah. I yeah, couldn't I even really so. stand up and enjoy it. I, <laughs> yeah, I was I was trying to warm up in the locker room and I looked down and then the fight was over. <laughs> Bro, I posted a story before it uploaded. You know, like, I posted the walkout. I'm waiting for it to upload. You knocked him out by the time I like, even. Like, it's crazy. Congratulations. Do you, do you have a dream fight? Like, do you want everyone at 135? Yeah, to be honest, I feel like that's like the biggest, you know, weight class right now. Like, but at the same time, I feel like everybody's already like growing out of that weight class. Like they're moving up to 140 or like. And I hear Devin Haney's like 140. Ryan's trying to, uh, you know, fight at 140 now. I think probably his last fight. So, I mean... You would you fight Ryan? Ooh. That, that is a tough one to say, because I, I never want to fight, like, you know, friends and all. But, like, I mean, I feel like if it comes down to... If he has a belt, of course, and, you know, like, if that's, like, someone I have to, like, overcome to get towards the belts, so I feel like, I, you know, I have to. But, I mean, I feel like we, we will still be cool and yeah. all, but... It's business at the end of the day. Like you said, business at the end of the day. That's what people like to ask me, like, that's all I'm really would you fight have. your brother? Would you fight yeah. your brother? And and I think like even two months ago, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I'm, I think moving away from that mindset. Yeah, that's how. That's I thought like you guys are never gonna fight. Yeah, I don't think. I thought about it recently. I, and and I think I came to this like personal conclusion that I don't want to fight him. No. I never got bullied, but people that did though, like. You know, always like the the guy to like kind of always you know have their back and stuff like that. So I know I think that's important as well. Like that that's part of the message of boxing bullies is if you ever see someone getting bullied, it is to to help them. If you have the courage yeah. to stand yeah. up for yeah. for those people, if you're watching someone get bullied, you're almost just as yeah, bad guilty. as the bully. Yeah. If you know you can do something yeah, about it, definitely. Shadeja, you also have super fights. Coming up, uh, I know you don't like the talk, and you 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 let your hands do the talking. But I know there's Franchon Cruz out there in your weight division, and Clarissa Shields, and these are mega fights. How do you feel like matching up against both of them? I feel great. I mean, um, Franchon Cruz is more priority, of course. She's in my weight class, yeah, and she has something I want, which is the belts. Yeah, and uh, that's one of my goals is to be undisputed super middleweight world champion. Um, 
Clarissa Shields is one of the more skillful uh, female fighters of our, you know, time today. One of them. So um, you can't leave the sport without fighting one of the best. So eventually, of course, down the line, I would love that fight. With Franchon, she she says, "Oh, you're not on my level." She says that to you. But what do you think? I mean, that's her opinion. We all got one. Uh, I, I don't believe I'm on her level. I, I, I think that the level that I'm on skillfully is hasn't been touched. So, so you're on a higher level. I mean, let's go. <laughs> let's go. I, I heard a rumor that you like hurt her in sparring. I heard this though on the, For real? from someone else. Uh-huh. That's what because because my my coaches, one of my old coaches is up up in New York. Yeah. So he heard a rumor that you hurt her in sparring. Could be true. Sparring is like, it's rules about sparring, right? <laughs> I mean, isn't it rules? I don't, I don't follow I any know. of those. That's <laughs> what I was gonna mean. Mean. Sparring, you're the, you're the vet, you're the vet. My no, like, in like, my, my camp, there are no rules. Oh, yeah. let's, let's. Oh, wait, they, they, I, they I, I've seen him. 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 i have seen him 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 i that you don't brag or talk about sparring. That is true. You know, oh, but, like from um, respect. Some of these See, but, fighters, but though. Not in this era anymore. Yeah. No. Like the pe- people will post all the clips. Like I think it used to be like that, but now everyone's filming the rounds and they get one little highlight in sparring yes. and then they're posting it online. I don't know. I've been in the ring with quite a few people though. Quite a few world champions, male champions. Like I've been in the ring with a lot of people, so I Jesus I just Christ. say I held my own. <laughs> I gotta watch my words. I'm- <laughs> Oh, overwhelmed. Punched it's up. okay. You have Jake here. Yeah, I, no, I already beat his ass in the first no, he, in the round he, he one. Didn't beat we can put up another ass. clip, actually. Oh. In my face, Jake. Oh. 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 He didn't whip my ass at all. I don't know which camera I'm looking. I'm looking at everyone to tell each one of you guys individually he didn't whip my ass. It never happened. And you're gonna see the footage. Roll the clip. I heard him. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think um, we have this better ticket that we want to pull up with the Ryan Garcia versus Gervonta Davis fight and see if we can guess accurately. And by the way, everyone at home can also play this game uh, for a chance to win $100,000 if you download better. We should do this. Like, we know what we're doing. We're pro boxers. Their fight is in uh, nine days. And I mean, who do we think is going to win first and foremost? Like, do we have picks here? Because I got Ryan Garcia, and that's like the unpopular opinion. I just think he's too fast, but everyone thinks he's, you know, handsome and a pretty boy. So they, oh, I, think I, I mean, I'm, I like Davis. Davis is just, he's rough and tough. I like Garcia too. He's a great fighter. He's very good looking. Yep. Uh, he's such a pretty boy. But, are you, but I, I'm are like, you flirting? But we'll make some great babies. <laughs> Fighting up the wound. How, how come you have never had oh, a boyfriend? Oh, they'd be real talented. Yeah, because I'm boxing is a hard enough husband, That's boyfriend, facts. so it's That's just facts. this this game is, is serious. I want to concentrate fully on this. It's I feel always- like Ryan would understand that. I ain't gonna lie, he got it. <laughs> he's, he's winning this fight. You think so too? I had an awakening. Up until this point, I thought Javante, it's like a gladiator versus a ninja. It's like, who wins that, you know? But It's gonna uh, be a great fight though. Yeah, Ryan got it. Yeah. Ryan has to knock him out if it, if it, in the early rounds though. Javante turns it on in yeah. the later rounds. Yeah. So it's really gonna be all about Ryan's defense down the stretch. Yeah. But I think he lands something in like third, fourth, fifth round. And, and Gervonta has his right hand down where Ryan's going to come in with that left hook. That's just what I think. What about I like you? Davis. You like Davis? No consideration for anything else. Ryan just hasn't been in the ring with nobody like Davis. Awkwardly, Roly Romero is one of the strongest punchers out at the weight class, right? Yep. Ryan hasn't been anybody like in the ring with anybody like Roly neither. Yep. So um, I got Davis. Um, but yeah, I think it's 60-40. I, I, I'm going 60% Ryan with the with the KO. We'll see what ends up happening. Well, let's we should fill out this ticket and try to guess. I'm not gonna lie, I'm an idiot. It's 500 <laughs> punches a lot. No, actually, my last fight, me and my opponent broke the record and the most punches thrown in a female fight in 20 minutes. 
which because men fight three minute rounds, yeah. so over 1,900 punches. 1,900 punches? She threw yeah. more, but I landed more. 12 uh, rounds? They're not going out swinging like that. No. They're going to be respecting Very selective. Throw. Like 20 thrown. Yeah. It's not like me fighting. Punches thrown. 228. Punches landed, 75. 360. Which is normal for Davis. I think he lands like well, 90. We would say like 12 rounds. All right, so this is what the most valuable promotions team thinks is going to happen in the fight. Gervonta Davis, 228 punches thrown. Gervonta Davis, 75 punches landed. Ryan Garcia, 360 punches thrown. Ryan Garcia, 90 punches landed. And it will go the full 12 rounds. If you guys want to play for a chance to win $100,000, download the Better app. Fill out your better ticket for Gervonta versus Ryan Garcia. We're excited for the fight, baby. Why weren't you giving me 100000 You didn't know what the fuck was going on there. Yeah, I don't. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm a pro boxer. I'm a fat rapper. So when are you dropping the album? I just dropped one November 30th. Actually, go listen to The Color Red. It's out on all platforms. Thank you for the plug. That was, <laughs> that was good. Yeah, you just... <laughs> Speaking of super fights, who's your next fight going to be? I don't know. That's a good question. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of options. Nate Diaz, um, KSI, the Tommy Fury rematch, Floyd. Who do you guys feel like his next fight should be? I'm going with Tommy. Yeah. Go back and get the rematch. You get if it not back, Nate. Get it back in blood. You said not Nate? I said if not, then Nate. Yeah, I feel like the Nate fight would be really exciting. I like the Nate fight. Out of the three fighters on this couch right here, who do you feel you could take with you in a bar fight? All of them. I feel like Amanda doesn't like confrontation. Yeah. And I've seen Ashton get busy in the streets. I'll be in the bathroom. That's true. So I'm nah. not taking her. I need sedation. You're, you're intimidating. Like it's like a <laughs> really like a like a real like certainty in your voice. It's just like I don't know. It's just... See, I don't look intimidating though, right? No, but like when you start talking, I'm like, oh shit. Like I get punked by old people at Shoprite. What? Promise you, I get hit with carts. People take my part, oh, and I nah. let them. I, I'm not in confrontation with two. Yeah, so I'm taking Ashton in the street fight. <laughs> Definitely That's Ashton. my boy. Yes. Bar fight. That's I my see boy. He can't him. even get into the bar yet. Yeah, he can't even <laughs> get in the bar fight. He'll be waiting That's outside crazy. Waiting for a cold scrubble. <laughs> Swinging outside. <laughs> the door. Let's talk to Joe Fournier. Round three. Round three, baby. Give it up for Joe. Let's go. You're a very interesting man, you know that? I feel like you know that. <laughs> well, you know, it's been a long time being me, so yeah, I've heard it before. Like, like when someone asks, like, what do you do? Like, what do you say? <laughs> Depends what context. Here, I'm a professional boxer, and then the rest of the time, make money, you yeah, know? Yeah. Nightclubs, bars, restaurants, and then have some mining businesses. For those of you who don't know, this is the man fighting KSI, it's a very interesting fight for many reasons. Yeah. But like, how do you feel about it? I feel like one of the coolest things is I started off as a dishwasher. No one knows this. I didn't have wealthy parents with six of us in the studio in the ghetto in London, in Hounslow. And uh, all these things is kind of like, you said it before, I've heard you say it, it's like a video game. Yeah. We're like in this crazy video game. So my last fight was like fighting David Hay, the cruiserweight and heavyweight world champion. And I remember sitting down and it was like Evander Holyfield, who I watched my whole youth sitting next to me. You know, I, was, I literally watched dishes for one pound an hour. That was, that was how I got here. So I never thought KSI would actually pull the trigger on it. I thought he was just gonna skirt around it. And we agreed in January, technically we shook hands on stage. And then the contract February doesn't come and you, you know, we've been there. I'm like, you didn't just make me lose 25 pounds, <laughs> ruin my vacation. <laughs> I'm in Miami, you know, and then then they called me up. I think they timed it well, you know. I'm turning 40, so. How do all you guys think the KSI fight and Jake would go? You know, you're gonna hate me for saying this, right? But Jay, I've been where Jake is in, in technically, right? Because remember, I'm like a, I started professional boxing at 30. So now I've done 10 years, I'm like six, right? And there was a goofy moment, because when you start, you kind of start as a bit of a brawler. I started in like the pubs in England, white collar boxing and kind of just scrapping it out and not knowing how to control your breathing and having a fight basically. And then you start to get good technically. And then you start to find those goofy guys really hard because they don't do one, two. They come out at crazy angles and you know, their coaching team is like MMA based. So you see his last knockout where 
came in off like a taekwondo stance, <laughs> threw an overhand, yeah, left. bouncing but back. Listen, I was ringside. He knocked the guy out clean. So yeah. I think it would be a, I think it would be very interesting. I'm struggling with that now to get sparring partners. Who do I it's spar like with? It's like an awkward style. It's you got to bring in MMA guys. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Well, in my, yeah. my opinion, I don't think he can beat you in this lifetime. I not just because I'm part of the team, but I think um, he hasn't fought anyone that you have fought. Anderson Silva alone is is a great fighter. Yeah. Not both boxing MMA. So I think that it would wouldn't be an easy night going up against him. Yeah, I think he I think he has willpower, but we actually don't know how good he is. Like you're his yeah. first test. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. Yes. And did you see the sparring footage that just came out? Well, I, I posted it. I said that. I said that's fake. <laughs> Let's go! Let's see who wins around. Let's go! Let's go! Break clean! Go! Go! Hold that motherfucker. Fuck! Fuck! JJ, don't wait. Fuck! Don't wait, JJ. Good shit. Put it in, let's go. Yeah, I said that just not joke. Because right? everyone already knows I'm not training. Like I should be probably because I've been, you know, having a bit of fun out of nightclubs. Hey. But I'm like, they really don't want me to. You look like you just came from the club. <laughs> I did, I did. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, I just came disgusting. from 11. Yeah, let's go. Let's go after. Let's go back. And uh, and now I was like, nah, they, they don't want me to do any training if this is what's going on down there. No, I think it's fake. Yeah, I think it's train. fake. I don't think they are uh, yeah, being they serious, right? Nah. No like, he wouldn't have put that out. Nah. But what's the tactic? Like, I'm going to put this out to... So Joe doesn't do any... So just go straight back to the pub. <laughs> I think that must have been... Yeah, is I know, it, you uh, seem a little too relaxed. Like, just... But it's always the way I am. I mean, I don't really get nervous. Are you working hard? My third fight was at the O2 Arena. Are you working hard? <laughs> am I training hard? No, yeah. i got a diet, man. i got to get up to 180 pounds. I walk around at 210, 205. Oh, man. So you... that's the hardest part about that's this? That's the hardest part is, is I'm on fat camp. What's the, what's the prediction? Like, what do you think is going to happen in the fight? Well, uh, eight rounds. Uh, I I don't know. I think eight or six. <laughs> is it a, is it a real pro fight? Bro, I this nigga signed a contract like yeah, this. No, because like, let me tell you. Fucking. Because for me, for me, why I do this? You know, obviously it isn't the money. So I like I, I don't even think that, that what I'm getting paid would cover my jet there, the after party, for real, dead serious. So it was a case of I just agreed to everything they said. Rich people. I was right. like, so if they said you had to wear assless chaps, you'd have just. Oh, whatever I had to do. <laughs> you know? Like, listen, because the way I look at it is I'm investing in, because what I like to do now is inspire others, yeah? Inspire the youth. The kids that grew up, growing up now is dishwashers and some of the cool stuff you do with the anti bullying stuff. So by being on these platforms now, it gives me a much bigger voice to inspire other people. I love that. So yeah. it's like, yeah, all right, make another million or two dollars. Great. You know, you can do, you can donate it, you can do good things with it. Right. Um, but at the end of the day, it's more about the, the, the engagement you get now to inspire you, the youth. I mean, and I, I, I think that I that's that. kind of what, what I did it for. So whether it's six ounce gloves, 10 ounce gloves, 12 ounce gloves, at the end of the day, if someone comes to your house in the middle of the night and is burgling you, you're going to be like, what ounce gloves you got on? No, yeah. you're going to have a fight. And <laughs> yeah, you, you still got to put in the work. You still got to put in the work. You still got to fight. So, so, no, I want to actually, like, hurt him. I want him. Okay, see, that's what I need to hear. I want to yeah, hurt if I, him. If I was betting on you, I'd be sweating bricks right now. <laughs> It's not like I like I need the TV time, baby. You know, like I want I want to just really hurt him. I want to go to the body real hard, really just test those abs out, the men's health abs. Cut that out. I don't want him knowing nothing. I want you to punch him up. And then, and, well, you got to break him down a little bit. And then, obviously, I need the ring time. I haven't fought in two years since David. So, you've had a lot of ring time. You know, yeah. the last few years, I've done not one round. Yeah, no. Ring. If you if you get if you get through KSI, I'm down. Yeah, I think it's a great fight. Yeah, it's yeah, a fun It'd fight. Be cool, yeah. I, and I think between our trash talking, we'd do really well. It'd be really good. Yeah, yeah. We get, we'll get Make into it. TV. We're at, right now, we're friends, but if we ever fought, fight, it's going to be... It's, yeah. yeah. We're just start just going ape shit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> clubbing before. I'm just but see, but <laughs> that's... Yeah, I'm like... I'm going like, <laughs> to just send you to the club. We'll both be, honestly, probably in the club before the fight. Yeah, Have yeah. you prepped more for after party or fight? Like, <laughs> coming, coming into I don't know. Place. I always find, like, fighting, like, quite na a natural thing. Like, I quite enjoy it, so... I do go to the gym every morning and, uh, you know, I've been sparring a little so, bit. Uh, but like I said, I can't really get the sparring here to emulate what he does. So I haven't really done a huge amount of sparring. Uh, but I've had to do a lot of running. No weights, a lot of running just to make the weight. 
just to get the weight down. This sounds crazy. I got 20 pounds to go in six and a half You're weeks. You're at 200 right now? And it's in six and a half weeks? I'll and, do it. And you, you have like a nutritionist helping you or you're kind of just... I've done it for so long now, yeah. I just wing it. What's yeah. your favorite alcohol? <laughs> the one that's gonna sponsor me? No. <laughs> nah, my favorite probably, I like, I like a beer, I like a good beer. Cause we're English, we go to the pub. So I like, you know, like a good Guinness. Yeah, where the fuck did you guys get the name pub? Public pub. House is public actually house. what it's short for. Yeah. Well, now we know. Yeah, public house. Well, sure. now we fucking know. Sounds like a hostel. I actually I'm saw sorry. your brother at uh, where I live, and he, uh, this beautiful girl walks in. I'm like, wow, this is a great morning. And your brother, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> Logan's girlfriend. Girlfriend. <laughs> so when is your first day of training? Uh, well, he's been running, but yeah. like, I run, nigga. I'm fat. When is your first day of training? <laughs> yeah, but when you run, what do you eat afterwards? <laughs> Famous bowl, yeah, 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 KFC. Yeah, 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 exactly. But I ran for the bowl. I calculate the calories. I'm like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, I've been, I've been running. I've been running. I've been hitting the mitts a little bit, hitting the bag, and in the club. You know, in my, <laughs> I've been doing that a lot. It was, it was music week, so I had all the DJs that play in my club down in Tulum here. All the major agents, manager had to host, entertain. Leading up to a fight, when is like your, like date where you cut off like going out? I don't want her to punch me for being too slack, so i am be like, uh, I don't really stop. Wow. I don't really. Well, I'm 34 and I've never been to a pub, nightclub, bar. No? <laughs> never? never been? Oh, we should go. I'm dedicated to wow. We shouldn't go. <laughs> so this is more like a side quest. Like, it's just like... This is a side quest. No, I take boxing very seriously. I respect the sport. It is a dangerous sport. It is. And I do, I do, you know, put it this way. But at any point, I've done this now for 10 years, at any point, I can get in a ring and do whatever rounds I need to do. I think at some point it is like riding a bike if you just get yeah. in shape. Yeah, I think he's gonna be better than people think he is because I think that they know that I ain't gonna, you know, I'm, they know I'm gonna hit him. So they, he, they gotta do whatever they gotta do right now. Right. Their next six, seven no, weeks. No, I think he's gonna come very prepared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very prepared, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. He ain't, and his coaches are really good. David was coached by his coaches. I but, just think he's looked really good against really shitty people. Exactly, and, that's and like, hard to say. I've been, I went through that stage in my career. We all like, did. Until Woodley was my first like real competition. Yeah, yeah. So it's like... I think like having shit opponents at the beginning is the right thing to do anyway because you've you got to know yourself. yourself too. You've got to build up getting hurt, yeah. getting in a car, still being able to work your way out of it. All the guys, like look at Lomachenko. They, he lost his first fight, didn't he? Look what he went on to do. Was that smart? Probably not. Probably made a lot more money. Yeah, no, he... like in Jake's case, he had no amateur experience. Right, I mean, he he turned yeah. pro right off the rip and under the Damn, spotlight and people watching, looking. So yeah. I think Tommy though, I think Tommy was sneaky. I think he, when he fought Anthony Taylor, he didn't, he didn't go full, full speed. Oh yeah, no, he was a total different fighter. Yeah, then against you, that fight, I think he, he was knew. lulling you in, so you thought, oh, okay, nah, this is an easy win, maybe. I don't think they're that calculated. I think <laughs> I just had a shit fight. Like really? I wish it wasn't myself. No. I think I made him look good. I don't think I think he did he was he came prepared, but and that's I just so think I made him look good because I didn't perform well. I lost the fight, he didn't win it. How long have you been boxing sense. for real, for real? Like full time? Three years and like four three years and four months. So Right. You just you bridge the gap of like fifteen years. Yeah. yeah. I fourteen years as a professional. Wow. And I'm still learning myself. I'm still building that confidence to go in there. So it took me, I would say maybe 12, 11 to 12 years to finally feel like the real deal when I, as a professional fighter, as a multiple division world champion. And understanding like the nuances of opponents quickly and stuff, it takes time. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. I, I've been like, it's even now I was like in the gym the other day and I was sparring, I was like, oh, I can see that. I can see that. That little feint now works, which I wouldn't even think to faint like that you know, five, six years ago. So if you continue on your trajectory, which I know you're gonna do, you could end up doing what you said you were gonna do and actually, you know, win something big, you know? 100%. I think you should definitely continue That's what fighting. I'm make happen. I think you should definitely continue fighting and use that as experience because that's what's gonna make you better is that fight. The first thing you said to me outside was like, I know I can win this. But like, take that energy and then roll it into the next guy. 100%. You know?
Do you have a final message to KSI? Like anything you want to say directly to him? You could look him right in that, right in that uh, camera, and and I don't know if you have something or not. To well, say to I already him. offered him ten million dollars to sell me Misfits now, because I said the next day is going to be worth like a hundred grand. That's true. So if you want, we can go. We can go halves. We can buy it, and then you know. <laughs> that's hilarious. You know. So after after you fuck him up, it yeah yeah because then that's it. Then that, who, that's then, it for him. Then that's that's the end of Misfits because then I own the company. It's really the end of his boxing career if he loses, honestly, because he hasn't beat anyone. Like for me, it's like I beat a lot of good people, so I can keep stand. I st can stand back on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For him, it's like he just beat some phase kid. Yeah, he's just gonna have a lot of rounds and just get him beat up. No, that's the that's my plan. This I'll, is what I like I'll, to I'm hear. I'm just gonna have a lot of rounds of really hurting you, and you, I hope you cry. I want to see you cry on your stool. I don't. I just hope he comes to the fight. For real, I don't know if he will actually show up. I don't. I don't want him to cancel for whatever reason. So just make sure you come. That's all you got to do. I'm gonna be in the pub. You train. Just show up. That's my <laughs> message to you. I want to go out with you one night. Y'all should go out tonight. We're gonna go. We're I'm going out tonight. Yeah, let's go. Movie. All right, Jasper and Joe are going to be at the club. Tune in, <laughs> tune in on their stories. I'm just spectating. I want to put like a GoPro on you. <laughs> you look a little too fun. I don't think the cameras are allowed when I got, bro. <laughs> You're a fiend, too. No, I'm not. It takes one to know one. I'm a prior fiend. First of all, I'm no longer a fiend. Ladies and gentlemen, BS, season two, episode three. Thank you so much for watching. It's Smash that subscribe button. Joe Fournier versus KSI. Tune in. Most valuable promotions in the building. Thank you, everybody. Joe Fournier versus a hangover three days before the fight. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to come to the party afterwards. Now I'm in the game. I was on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting. Now I'm collecting rent. First it with the Beamer. Now I want the dance. Spending all the back. Like, here I go again. Here I go again. Outside says the chirp, not a camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's Why on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. My city gritty, you could get hit any day now. Nah. On my mama, I'ma move, I finally wait out. With some 20s, 50s.